Can you wine? Can you do it on time? Can you? Can you wine? Move your teeth, be fine. Can you? Can you wine? Can you do it on your time? Can you? Can you wine? Move your teeth, be fine. Can you? Can you wine? Can you do it on time? Can you? Can you wine? Move your teeth, be fine. Can you? Can you wine? Can you do it on your time? Can you? Can you wine? Move your teeth, be fine. Can you? 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 Hear me, no bad girl. Can you wine? Can you do it on time? Can you? Can you wine? Move your teeth, be fine. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In Virtual DJ, the Scratch DNA is a feature that allows you to create and save automated scratch patterns using a keyboard or a controller. It's essentially a way to map specific scratch movements to individual keys, allowing you to trigger complex scratch routines with just a few strokes. So, Virtual DJ allows you to create various scratch patterns using the scratch dna editor which allows you to visually see the movement of the turntable or the waveform and it did the sequence of scratch commands so you can edit any pattern that you want on virtual dj here to give you good scratch patterns so without wasting much time for you to set the scratch dna here on virtual dj there are two ways you can do it so the first way is by using the pads on virtual dj here so for you to get the pads head over to the pad section here in the deck section here it is here this one here so for you to be able to set the scratch dna click on that drop down arrow inside the box here and then you'll see a list of customizable things here on virtual dj so on this list choose the scratch option here and then you'll see a change on the pad here so these are the default scratch patterns here on virtual dj so for you to be able to set them or change them right click on one of the box here or the pad here and then a small window will open up here with the heading dna scratch editor so this is where you can edit the dna scratches from so let us first customize and set one dna scratch from here and then the rest of them i'll show you how to set it from the mapping section so select all these default scratch dna's that is already here and then delete all of them so that you can be able to insert any DNA scratch of your choice. So for me, the first DNA scratch that I have here is this one here. So the way these settings work, it is like letters you put that make up the scratch DNA. Like for example, if you put capital C, a line will run across the bar here it will run from the start here and then it goes up to the c bar here by the way these lines here indicate the separation of bars on tracks on virtual dj here so you can copy all the letters i'll put inside this editor box here so the first scratch dna that i use is this one here capital c followed by capital d small a capital c and then followed by seven capital a's one two three four five six seven so this setting here affect only the first bar of the track that you are playing so this is the first setting for the DNA scratch. So after putting all of the letters that you want, click on the save button right down here so that you'll be able to save it on the scratch pad. So click on it and then you choose any pad of your choice. You can choose to save it on pad 8, pad 1. By the way, the pads are this one here if you don't know them like one is this one the second one the third four up to the eighth pad so i will save it to the first pad here and then a small window will pop up here again which is for renaming the pad that you have set it to you can change the name to any name that you want so for me i'll put it as the dna one as you can see here as soon as you save or you click on okay it will change the name to dna 
one as you have set that is that for the first one you can close this so that is the first way of how you can set the scratch dna on virtual dj here so the second way of setting the scratch dna on virtual dj here is by using the setting section so for you to set it or to map it head over to the setting icon here and click on it and then go to controllers and then advanced editor so here what we shall do is to select any key on the keyboard that we want to use for the scratch dna so i'll choose this key here on the keyboard and then in the action box i will type in scratch underscore dna so that is the command of the mapping here scratch dna space open code it can be double code or single code but make sure you use the single code at the end as well if you're using the single one or you use the double code at the end if you're using the double code so here i will put these letters here for the scratch dna you can also copy it as well follow as i set it capital c small e capital c again small a capital d capital a capital d capital a and then a full stop there to jump to the next bar of the track and then you put capital d small f small a capital e small g small a so you close it using the code here so that is the second scratch pattern that i've come up with here so let us set all the scratch dna's here quickly so i'll choose the next key that i want to use for the scratch dna as well we choose the next one and then in the action box i will type in scratch underscore dna open code capital c capital c small a capital c capital c small a capital c c c capital a a a and then full stop capital c c small a a capital c c small a a capital c c small a a and then close it using the code and then we choose the next key here and in the action box i will type in scratch underscore d n a space open code capital e capital a capital d capital a full stop capital d capital a capital d capital a and then i'll close it using the code so for the last one i'll choose the key and then i'll type in scratch underscore dna space open code capital c capital d small a capital c capital a small a capital c capital c capital c capital a a a and then close it using the code and then after setting all the scratch dna here click on the save button here and then close this window here so i'll be showing you how you can use the scratch dna you have set on all of the keys and the pad here on virtual dj so the first one that we have set is this one here and when you click on it this is how it works so what you should do is to click on it and then hold on it so that the scratch pattern is first finished and then the song start to play before you leave it so that is the first scratch dna that we have set here on the pad and then the rest that we have set are on the keyboard here. So I'll put on my keyboard on the screen so that you'll be able to see it. So the first one was this one here on the pad. And then the second one that we did set was this one here. Make sure you press the key until the scratch finishes before you leave it so that it allows the song to play after pressing it okay so press it and then hold it until the scratch finishes and then the song or the track will start to play and then thereafter you can leave the key so this is the second one and then the third one was this key here Babylon. Babylon boy, for your band, okay that is the third one and then the fourth one was this one here Babylon. Babylon boy, 
the last one was this one here which was the fifth scratch dna that we did set and then this is how it sounds So you can go on and set as many scratch DNA patterns as you like and then you make sure you practice using the keys that you have set so that you gain experience here on Virtual DJ. So that's all for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.